talking about our otters here. Yesterday was World Otter Day. And we have our two North American River otters. Uh, Duncan is our new two-year-old otter, and we have Sushi, who is 14. Uh, we introduced Duncan to you uh, a little over a month ago, and uh, so far these guys have been getting along swimmingly. Yes, I went there. Um, and we are super happy to see these guys and we can't wait for you guys to all come to Zoo New England. We are opening very shortly so you will be able to come and see the new faces here at Stone Zoo. Uh, for more information you can check out our website at zoonewengland.org and uh, be ready to come and find some funny furry faces. So here we have Duncan and Sushi. Uh, Sushi is the larger of the two and Duncan is the smaller. So Duncan's on the right and Sushi is on the left. Faye is doing some feeding right now as so we have them up and they're very curious. Um, at this time, we actually cannot train these guys. Um, as they have been found to be susceptible to this virus. So we do everything from afar. We are sure to always have our uh, personal protective equipment or PPE um, on us at all times. Uh, so, uh, but these guys really like to have their lunch. As you can see, them coming up and saying hi. So as I said, these guys have gotten along very, very well. And you may be asking how well. Well, uh, we did see some breeding from these guys, which is super exciting. So you might wonder how long do we have to wait to see if in fact she might have pups? Well, it can be as short as 60 days or wait for it, 370 days. Yep, we're wow. already past the 60 days. Um, and more likely than not, um, if anything was to happen, it will probably happen sometime next spring. Um, although she is very, very young, just two years old. Um, so we may or may not see any fun stuff next year, but we will just have to wait and see. Otters have something called a delayed implantation. It's an adaptation that helps them um, when they can breed and the female um, body knows when it's the perfect time to give birth and it might not be that year um, sometimes it's over a year and that's why um, the quote-unquote gestation can be well over one year in length so again looking at these guys um, the size wise penny is about um, 6.5 kgs uh, that is a little over 12 or 13 pounds and sushi is uh, 9.6 kgs so you're talking pretty close to 20 pounds there's a really good difference between the two uh, sushi actually came from the wild but he had a really bad injury um, when he was in the wild he had actually broken his back and had to do rehab and because of that, he was not able to go back into the wild. And Duncan here came to us from the Roger Williams Zoo. She was born in captivity there. Now we're gonna be taking questions very shortly. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure you put them in the comments below and we'll try to answer those questions for you. Um, you'll see that these guys are typically pretty active in the morning, um, again in the afternoon. Uh, they tend to be a little bit snoozy during the day, uh, during the heat of the day, especially in the summertime. Uh, we do these little feedings. It gets them up and gets them exercising. Uh, Duncan, as she is a little bit younger, has a lot more energy. So she is often running around and being in the pool and acting out otter lot, like a lot more than sushi, who tends to like to find a really nice, comfortable, shady spot and sleep for a good part of the day. We work very hard on these guys to make sure that they always stay healthy. They have a very balanced diet. Uh, we give them right now, we're giving them some raw meat 
uh, that is specifically made for carnivores. Um, it's got lots of uh, bits of bone and skin and meat. It's all stuff that they would be eating in the wild, but we also put some vitamins and supplements in there as well. They will also get some capelin and herring, so a couple of different types of fish. Um, they will sometimes uh, catch their own. Um, these guys are not true carnivores. They're actually more of an omnivore, um, but they do really like their meat. They will eat pretty much anything that they find or they can get their little mouths on. Um, in the wild, they'll also be looking for crayfish. Um, they get the fish, they'll get little birds, they'll get mice and voles. Uh, they'll grab uh, freshwater clams and mussels. Uh, these guys are found throughout North America um, as well as in Canada, so they're pretty much all over. Any place that you have a good supply of clean, fresh, running water, a lot of times that is a really good habitat for otters. Um, again, they do sleep a lot during the day, so the best time you get uh, to be looking for these guys would be morning or afternoon. Uh, you can walk around riverbanks and oftentimes you will find their little cute footprints. So that's a good indication that these guys are around. You might find some crushed up mussels. Um, that's most likely these guys are, especially if you find a whole bunch of hoard of, of shells. Um, these guys have a really particular place that they like to haul out and eat the uh, mollusks that they're finding in there. Do you have any questions, Jen? Yeah, so we've had a few questions come through. So Katie would like to know, what are their favorite enrichment items? So we're gonna give this to Faye, so she's gonna answer all those questions for you. So they actually like a few different enrichment items. Um, as you can see, that blue um, disc there, they like to climb on top of that, as you're about to see, maybe. Um, that tube if that fall wasn't in there they'd probably swim through that they like logs um sometimes we'll toss like pine cones into their water and they like to play with those uh, how long can they hold their breath for underwater i actually don't remember the answer to that but i think dale knows the answer so that's about nine minutes, nine uh, minutes. more typically you're gonna see um, about three to six minutes but they can hold it for a long time uh, Patty would like to know, did they live in salt water or fresh water or both? Um, they typically live in fresh water. Since they're called river otters, they're found in freshwater rivers. Brackish as well, though. Uh, is this species endangered? Nope, they are not. They are actually least concerned, which means that their population has not been declining. It has been remaining steady. Right. Does anybody have any other questions that we can answer for you? Oh, here's one that just came through. Do you have to heat the water in their pool? No, we actually, they can actually swim when it's icy cold. Um, sometimes the top does ice over a little bit, so we will break it up for them so that they don't get trapped underneath the ice. But they can actually deal with very cold water because they have very thick fur. All right, guys. Well, if you think of any other questions, make sure you put those in the comments and we will do our best to answer them after the chat. Once again, Zoo's gonna be opening really soon. We cannot wait to see you. Come see all the new furry faces. We've got Duncan, we've got all the wolves and they are really settling in well. And nobody here can wait to see you guys. So don't forget, check the website zoonewengland.org to get more information about when we can uh, start seeing you guys here and we thank you for your support thanks for watching uh, and we hope to see more of you very soon bye, bye thank you